Today I'm coming to talk about something very important. People are interested of coming to Canada. People are saying that, Peter, when I come to Canada, can I work and pay my tuition fee? A lot of things have been challenging. A lot of scope have been challenging. Now, what this page is coming to do is that sometimes I'm not, I'm not going to talk about school application and visa application. We are here to liberate people. This page is to emancipate. You can go for those people, agent, and, those, and go and follow them. Those people who want their life to change. They need to follow this page. If you think you cannot follow this passion, you will leave. No time for anybody low thinking. What you need to do? You need to think. You need to think. You need to think. You need to think. You know that nowadays I'm not becoming to social media platform. Me steady. I am feeling myself with a lot of... You know, the people I want to work with. It is not local, local people. <laughs> Me, I want people to mention my name. And they say they know that guy. I don't want to become a little boy. Me, when you mention my name, you need to have something to say. <laughs> I want to command, become global icon. That is the promised land. To to liberate people. When I was in, when I was a child, my father was finding it difficult to buy me a laptop, computer. He was finding it difficult to 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 buy me school bag, school uniform. So if I have opportunity to be here, there are a lot of children. There are a lot of people in the rural areas, in Ghana, villages. They don't get food to eat. They don't have books to, to study. I know how it is. Me, when I was in JSS, sometimes my book will finish. My mother would tell me to tear the first semester, first semester paper from it and use it to continue to second. I don't want people to see because I've been there before. I know how it is to, be, to live in poverty. I know how it is. I know how it is when you are born in poverty. When your father and your mother, they, they are trying to empower you, but nothing is coming. Nobody is helping you. Your uncle is not helping you. Your aunties are not helping you. Nobody is helping you. I know how it is. I know how it is. When you don't have money to pay school fees, I know how it is. Sometimes I cried. My father is here. I'm not lying. This page is not here for me to entertain anybody. We are here to... to to liberate, empower, re-engineer. To me, dear children, there is power. I've been telling people, but they say, fire a page, you know. You cannot. He said, Peter is aggressive. Me, when I come to social media platform, that I don't know why, I don't know that the, I don't know if it is my father who born me like this, but <laughs> my brother, my brother is called Prophet Joseph Akua. Those people who know him at Atimatim Junction, Pastor Joe, he's my biological brother, one father, one mother. He's also aggressive. Go and search his, uh, uh, his, um, his uh, church, Blessed Baptist International. When you go there, you see the power, my brother. is. That's the same thing. We cannot become little in this platform. You can never. Now, people are saying that international students, you want to come to Canada. Basically, some people don't know these rules and they come to Canada. Be very careful. If you are, you are planning of coming to Canada as an international student, take note of this so that immigration, you won't have any problem with immigration. Irrespective of how Canada is, there are certain challenges you need to pass through. I'm never, I will never tell you here that Canada is like anything that, that when you come now, you, are, you, 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 you get a lot of opportunities. <laughs> you need certain intelligent and roadmap. That can help you. Now, some people are saying that, Peter, when I come to Canada, can I work and pay my school fees? Today, I'm not coming to speak from my own intelligence. I am going to the website, IROCC website, Canada Immigration, the rules that govern international students. I'm going to educate you because there are certain people they cannot go there to read and understand. Let me go there and follow the seal so that if you're in Ghana, if you're in Nigeria, South Africa, you are interested of coming to Canada, you will prepare adequately before you come. Because proper planning will help you to understand the vision and the passion you want to achieve. If not, you will come here and you will never be able to touch lives. International students, those people who came here last year, so last year, those people who applied their visa, 
before 7th October. Write it down. <laughs> 7th october 2022 so that means those people who were in canada international students who were in canada and who has applied their visa before 7th october 2022 last year october 2022 7th october 2022 if you apply or submitted your visa that time you have opportunity to work as an inter international student above 20 hours listen to me very carefully <laughs> so that means those people we me i came so i am part of those people who can work more than 20 hours right because i apply my visa in around that april there got my visa around that time so i am not part of those people but those people who apply their visa after 7th october 2022 so that means if you're watching me right now and you're coming to canada this rules is not part of you so that means if you're coming to canada right now after you apply your visa after 7th october 2022 you are eligible to work 20 hours they are saying some people are coming to social media and say canada have changed their rules now you can work 40 hours more than 20 hours no but be very careful <laughs> The reason is that when you come to Canada, we call something SIN number. This SIN number, when you are working, every money that you will take will pass through it. That is why some people come to Canada and they are not getting their permanent resident, their immigration statuses have become very, and now they, are, they, are, they, they, they don't follow the rules. So today, as a person who loves my country, my Africa, I want to educate people. So before you come here, you know that this is the path. I'm not saying what I'm saying here is true. You to go and verify. Peter Obi in Nigeria, he said, they say you have chopped money. They say, go and verify. After I am telling you this, you to go there. Go to the immigration. Type IROCC. Go there and read. And know that if what I'm saying is true. If it is not true, you to come to the comment section and say, oh, Peter, educate me. I'm not saying I'm intelligent more than anybody. If you are also in Canada and you are watching me and you have any comment, comment on the comment section. For people to know for me to also study don't go and sit at any place and say peter is talking about something you don't know comment it we are here to help africa i'm not jealous anybody i'm not competing with anybody this peter by world tv i'm not competing i'm not competing with anybody so when you come here and you know something write in the comment section don't go and sit at any place and say peter by is saying something you don't know write it we are here to help ourselves i'm not saying i'm intelligent me too i'm here to study who Canada tree baby? So me can be be now on the other tree why? So that people can learn. Don't go and sit at any place and talk anything about certain people you don't know. Some people talk about me, but you don't know me. Me, I, you don't, you can't even get in contact with me. <laughs> you are there to spoil me. I don't care. If you hear my name, you, it is your own cup of tea. Me <laughs> Okay. So now, international student, if you apply your visa after 7th october 2022 so that means if you are watching me right now and you want to come to canada when you come here you need to work 20 hours outside the campus now some people think that they are smart so you come <laughs> you don't go to school today i am going to take you through the rules so that you know so that when you come here your status here will help you to understand certain things now, international student, you say you want to, you can work to pay your school fees. Before I will get it. Now, maybe you come here. I'm in Ontario. Ontario is the largest. Let me say, is it, I don't know if it is the largest, but at least the province of Canada where Ottawa, Toronto is. So that is the capital city of Canada. So now, if you are in Ontario, the minimum wage here, the dirty work, when you are in Ontario, the work that is, that work like a cleaner, we don't we, like the, the low work here every employer should pay you 15.5 dollars so now if you're a cleaner here if you are watch mine the lowest somebody can pay you when you're working in canada eh, when you're working in ontario is 15.5 so let's take it 16 dollars so that means if you're in ontario and you're working the minimum money you should pay for one hour is 15.5 five after this video go and do your research if you think i'm lying 
Kubo only be bini, and I'm not here to explain certain things. If you think you doubt, go and search. The minimum wage in Ontario is 15.5. Let's take it $16. So if you're working in Ontario, because we have a lot of province, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, we have New Brunswick community, uh, community, <laughs> New Brunswick, we all, they also have their own um, minimum wage. But if you're in Ontario, the minimum, the dirty work, nobody should can pay you below $15. It is again the rule. So now you are working and you are got maybe you are international student, you are coming right now. You need to work 20 hours. So within the week, let's say when you come when you come here, when you come to Canada, that means 20 hours, you multiply 16.20 hours. Don't forget, you need to pay taxes. Canada tax is 13%. 13%. So take the money out, out of it. So 20, can somebody, can somebody work with for me? 16 times 20. 16 times 20. Let's say you are working 20 hours every week, 20 hours. When you come to Canada, you have gotten work to do. Let's see if you can use the money to pay for your tuition fee. Now, maybe your semester fee is $8,000. $8,000. You're supposed to pay $8,000. And every week for four months, for every week, okay, $320. Okay. $320. So let's say you pay taxes $20. So let's say every week you get $300. If you work 20 hours, $300. $300 every month. We have what? Four weeks times four. Three times four is what? So 1,200 and 1,200. 1,200. 1,200. Now you're in Ontario. Ontario, when you are coming to school in Ottawa, uh, Toronto area, those people, Hamba College, uh, Niagara, what, what, those people around uh, uh, Toronto's School of Management, Hamba College, Seneca. If you are coming to this school within the Ontario places, uh, Conestoga, all this, uh, St. Clair, if you are coming to this because it is Ontario schools, at least the rent you need to get here, at least. Even if you are coming to Toronto, you need to estimate more than six hundred dollars. Some are seven hundred, some are eight hundred dollars. You list know. So now, maybe you have come to Canada, you have come to uh, Toronto, or you are coming to maybe uh, London. Or when I say London, London is also in Canada. Don't say it is London UK, please. You have London in Canada. <laughs> so now, maybe you are staying at Brampton. Your rent every month you need to pay maybe sixty six hundred dollars. Take it all. Don't forget that every week, international student, you're supposed to work 20 hours outside campus. So now, say all the pay you have gotten before tax, you have gotten every month, you get $1,200. Now, your rent, the cheapest rent in Canada, me have seen. Sometimes when you come to with the people around, maybe Windsor, those people, maybe sometimes you can get a shared room of $500. But if you are coming to Canada, your estimate of room, especially Ontario, should be around $550 to $800 or $1,000. If you are coming, prepare. <laughs> Here, when your rent comes, you don't say that in Africa, you go and tell your daddy that, daddy, go and beg my landlord for me. Here, we don't have begging landlord. When the month is month, because you need to sign lease. <laughs> okay. So now, Let's say your payment every month you are working 20 hours. That is $300 every week times four. Within a month, you have gotten $1,200. You are paying your rent. Maybe you come to Toronto, you have gotten a, a, a cheap distance. You are coming to York, where Banana Bar for is there. You have gotten $600. Every month, you are paying $600. The money has remained what? $600. Let's say you don't like food. Let's say you don't like food. Your groceries, when I say groceries, the food you eat, deduct hundred dollars. The ladies there, the way they cook there, they will buy fish, chicken, what, 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 pork. Some people they like meat. <laughs> so if a kind of people you eat too much, you need to know the level of things you need to get. Some people like food, they can eat four times a day. <laughs> Apart from that, bread, yogurt, drink. If you're a kind of person and you're coming, prepare. If somebody say I like food, pa, <laughs> then prepare.
they say Canada, Canada. <laughs> Prepare before you come home. Yeah, you can call somebody and say, please, I don't have money. When you call the person, you won't pick. Prepare oh. Aha, the new of you and my damn for. Sometimes when you see me, me <laughs> you can't talk to me. Oh, <laughs> we call Peter. Peter is there. <laughs> hey, who is there? <laughs> me, the way I'm struggling. Let's try one of the favors. So it says hundred dollars. Okay, so now it have left five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, you international student. Five hundred dollars. Okay, that five hundred dollars, you need to pay phone bill. Phone bill, Peter Bell, where my phone bill is thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. I have opportunity to call any Canada number. I can test Ghana directly with message, and I have five gig. Because at house I have Wi-Fi, in school I have Wi-Fi, at work I have Wi-Fi. So the only time I use my internet is when I'm in the bus, or maybe when I'm area that I need the bus. So maybe when you come here you, you don't have money. So at least your phone bill is maybe thirty dollars. The money I've left how much? Four hundred and seventy dollars. Some some places in Canada you need to buy back pass. And back, that bus pass every month you need to pay some hundred dollars. The place I am, I pay eighty dollars. If school is not in session, so maybe you did that hundred dollars. So maybe you are in Toronto or any place. You, there are certain schools when you pay the school fees, it is part of the school fees. There are certain places you international students need to pay, pay the bus pass. So deduct hundred dollars from that four hundred and seventy. It has left with what three hundred and sixty. Three hundred and sixty dollars. There are certain things you need to buy, like soap. Soap. Certain things you need to buy for yourself as a person. Sometimes you need to eat. It's not every time you need to. You can get time. Me sometimes when I go to work or something, I need to buy food outside. So maybe use fifty dollars or that sixty dollars to buy certain things. Maybe drink because you're a human being. Sometimes you go out, you buy drink, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, and those kind of stuff. So maybe your credit card. You use that sixty dollars. The money has become three hundred dollars. Hmm. Your father and your mother is in Ghana, Africa, Nigeria. Your friend, yo, Charlie, send me 20, 20, 20. Let's say every month you send $100 back home. So the money has become what? $200. International student, too, you say you can come and work and pay your tuition fee. Listen, <laughs> before you come, please. <laughs> the money has become $200. You go to church. Some people, you go to church. Sometimes you can give tight and those kind of stuff. You maybe you won't you are not a truthful Christian. Let's say you pay tight. Your tight is maybe forty forty dollars. The money had become one hundred and sixty. One hundred and sixty dollars. So now international student every month one hundred and sixty dollars. Your school fees is eight thousand dollars <coughs> for a semester, not a year. The money had become one one hundred and sixty. Uh, one hundred and sixty dollars. How can you pay your tuition fee? You, I'm asking you. <laughs> Unless you do kululu, that is why I've been telling people that before you come to Canada, learn skills, learn skills. If you're a guy, a lady, there are certain lady here, they are driving Uber. There are certain people they give cars to people to drive, and you pay. I know a friend. That friend, he came here. He has gotten a car doing Uber delivery. So every day he is getting money. So before you come to Canada, you are watching me. You are, now you are planning. Please prepare adequately. Learn skills. Go and learn how to braid hair. Is it braid what what those guys get hair here? Canada. Somebody braid your hair. Two hundred dollars. So even every day you get two client, and it is two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars every day. Two hundred dollars. The month can be six thousand dollars for you. In four months, maybe let's say you break hair and you have gotten three thousand a month. Let's say three thousand. You didn't get many clients. Three thousand, three thousand dollars. You can get. It is about the branding. How you brand you brand your social media platform, Peter like me. When you come to Canada and DM in the Peter, do advertisement. Choco Melonier, I can contact with my brother Balfour. They can post it for you. I have Balfour number. I have just as in his number. I have J question number. I have Choco Melonier number. I have uh, uh, Wofi TV number. I have Fawon Dear number. 
I have these people, all those people in Canada influenced me. I have their number. Kwabra Boateng, I have their number. I have Mr. O number. Me, all these people you see on your social media, I have the, 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 the Fred Effect. I have the Fred Effect number. I have a full Canada number. I have all these people number. I'm just a small boy. Apart from that, I am the youngest among them. Me na misa. Nkrofo we omo social media. Me na miye ketoa. Ba ufo enyi na cheme. Choko enyi ni cheme. All these people, they are grown up. But I have their own numbers. I can call, talk to them that my sister has come to Canada. He is doing here. Please share the flyer for me. At least take talk. I have more than 50. I'm getting to 50,000 followers. LinkedIn, over $15,000. Facebook, over 20. Getting to $20,000. YouTube, I have followers. I can do the branding and give it to you. So before you come to Canada, please learn skills. Learn driving. I've been telling people, learn how to drive. So as a young guy, when you come here and you're not getting any work to do, you can get somebody when you go for your driving test and you pass. That's why I've been telling people that before you come to Canada or US, please do lances, driving lances before you come here. So that when you come here, you won't pass through one year before you study. Because Canada, before you drive, you need to learn, go to road test. They will give you, you have G1, G2, and G. I've talked about that one. Please go and watch my video. So as a young guy, when you come here, learn how to drive. So when you come here and maybe you want to work to pay your school fees, you can get extra money. Here, Ontario, here I am. If somebody go, so when somebody, when somebody tell you to go to a uh, driving test, I have a friend, one hour, you will pay $45. If, I, if you are in Canada and you don't know how to drive and the person know how to drive, he have the lances and he take you to the road to teach you. One hour, some charge $60. Some charge $45. So you as international student, you have come to Ontario. You know how to drive. You have gotten your car. This car in Canada, buying car is not is, is not is is nothing is it's not if you have driving license, getting car to drive. You can get you can talk to people, they can buy car for you. You can buy can car in Ontario as low as two thousand dollars. I'm telling you the fact. I know somebody who bought a car two thousand five hundred dollars. Those mini mini bus cars, don't guy. Don't when you come here, don't come and buy a G wagon or some. You get something Camry B, somebody second hand, two thousand dollars. Mister O in US, Mister O told me to come and buy a car. The car he was trying to is three thousand dollars. Ask Mister O, three thousand dollars to buy a car for me, <laughs> right? So if you're in US, you can get some small car. If you're in Canada, you can get maybe three thousand dollars car. Use as delivery every day, you can save $200. So, two times three. If you're a very resilient person, have financial intelligence, what do you with the whole? You want passion, you want to achieve your dreams, you need to pass through the vicissitudes of life, the turns of life. Hey, so what do you, hear, Juma? you need to work. Some people break your head. Learn how to baba. My baba here in Canada, he charged me $35. Every day, you as a baba. You get two clients, international students. Miss, I'm telling people are in their home. They shave at the, I mean, the person who shaved me. I will go to the house and he will set the test and then just 30 minutes. He has collected $35. Let's say you're in Canada and you know how to shave. You know how to do braid hair. Those girls, girls, you know how to do hair hair. Here, you can charge $150, $200. Brandon, form a social media platform. So when you're coming to Canada, you need to learn skills. Learn how to do certain things. It will help you. You need to know this plan before you come here. As international student, I love Africa. I love international student. That is why I'm giving you this fact. If you're going to US, US you can work 20 hours. It is only in Canada that international student that applied their visa before 7th October 2022 can work full time like me. I can work more than 40 hours in Canada or more than 20 hours in Canada. Now, let me take you through the IRCC website so that you can be able to follow what I mean. Now, the first step is that who can work on campus? So we have on campus and work uh, out campus, off campus. So who can work? You can only start working in Canada when you start, when you start your study program. This one I am talking, I'm not talking from my own experience. I'm talking from the IRCC website. Go there and verify. check it. Don't see I'm saying what I don't know. Go there because I'm reading from there's a laptop here. I'm reading. 
who can work on campus you can only start working in canada when you start your study program you can only work in canada when you are in school listen no don't try to be intelligent i'm giving you the facts now you can work before your studies begin you can work before your studies begin some people say i've gotten my visa i want to come to canada on the IRCC website you can only come to canada within 28 days to the study so for example maybe you are coming to september you can come here around maybe august 5th you fall within the 28 hours this is the reason why i'm giving you this is so that when you're applying for your permanent resident everything is in the system now he said you can work on your school campus without work permit if listen you, know, you can only work on your campus your school campus without work permit if you are a full-time post-secondary student such as a, a college university trade or technical school or is it CIGIC in Quebec you can only work on campus if you're full-time so you're in Africa you're in Ghana you're in Nigeria and you are coming if you come to college or something and you're full-time you can work on campus you have valid study permit we have different between canada student visa and canada study permit the visa is the stamp they put it on your uh, on your passport for you to come to canada but the study permit when you come to canada in the immigration they will give you the study permit it's like a paper okay you need to have social insurance number student with part-time courses no okay let me say who can't work on campus there are certain schools certain students you can't work on campus you must stop working on campus on the day you stop studying in full time so the moment i finish school i can't work on campus again when your study permit expires that one you know where can you work you can work on campus means that the building on your campus so on campus simply means that you are working with you so if it is KNUST, it is only KNUST you are studying so if you're coming to syndicate college humber college uh, uh, new Brunswick community college within the school building you can work on campus who you can work with you can only really work with the school the faculty like me i have a scholarship so i'm working with a lecturer i'm a graduate teaching assistant and also a research assistant right so i'm working in the school you get your social insurance number how many hours can you work let's say let's see how many hours you can work as international student let's see this is where people need to get this idea from so now let's see who can work who can work you need to get your school need to be part of dli don't just apply to certain schools in canada if you hear any college don't just apply make sure the school is part of dli and also have postgraduate work permit there are certain schools they have dli but they don't have postgraduate work permit listen to me very carefully okay may work 20 hours per week off campus or full time during break so when it is break maybe when we have summer break that one you can work full time when it is break you can work full time so maybe you come to canada and you're on break you can work on full time right but when school is in section you can work only 20 hours put it in your mind during regular school terms you can work up to 20 hours per week you can work more than one job to make up to these hours so in canada a lot of employers can take you mcdonald's can take you tim hortons a lot of construction factories can take you it is not like us that only one employer can take you no like that from november 15 2022 until december 31st 2023 you can work more than 20 hours off campus whilst class is in section if you meet this requirement i've explained it to you if you apply your study permit on or before on or before october 2020 October 7, 2022, that is only when you can work more than 20 hours as an international student. If you apply after that, you can never work. If you apply study permit extension, how many hours count full-time? So full-time, that one, I don't think. So I'll say, you can work up to 20 hours. Working more than 20 hours per week, more than 20 hours per week is a violation to your study permit condition. You can lose your study status for doing this and may not be approved for study or work permit in future <laughs> you may think that canada they don't rules but listen to this important thing they said that working more than 20 hours so some people come here 
in canada when their employer is taking you they don't ask you they can ask you are you eligible to work in canada if you say yes they don't care if you tell them that you can work 30 hours they don't they don't care that you're international student you should work more than 20 hours some employers will not ask you so some people are in canada they are working 30 hours 40 hours 50 hours they think they are making money listen to what the rules is saying here working more than 20 hours per week is a violation to your study permit condition you can lose your student status for doing this and may may be may not be approved after school you know after school in canada they give you you postgraduate work permit this is the reason why people love canada me since i came to canada i'm not it's not because i'm in canada that's what i'm telling canada no country favors international student more than canada no country in terms of international students, no country in terms of shaping and guiding international students is more than Canada. After school, Canada will give you postgraduate work permit for you to stay in Canada and work. If you come here to do one year course, you will get one year study permit. If you come here to do two years program, you will get three years postgraduate work permit. After that, you transition to become permanent resident in Canada. The transition from international student to become permanent resident to become citizen in Canada is very easy, more than. So you are same number. Every employer. So in the, if you come to Canada and you are working in any company, they will take your same number. That is where your, mo your money will pass through. So they will see the hours you are passing through. Okay. Okay. Very important. I know. I know it is very, very important. That is why I'm sharing this one with you guys those people i love africa i love my brothers i'm telling you the situation so that when you're coming here you prepare there are certain people they are they are saying that they are going for unpower loan let me tell you the unpower loan those people who want to take loans to come here there's the pawns and cons and listen attentively for example if you come to canada and you're not getting work to do what say what if they pay you in cash there are certain questions i cannot answer here because sometimes I need to be intelligent. People, not everybody watching me love me. Not everybody watching me love me. So there are certain questions I can never answer here. So you are asking me whether if they, they give you cash tabletop, I can't answer this. Because I don't know anything. <laughs> yes. Thank you, John Mensa. You have to... so. So maybe probably you, you, you come here and maybe you are doing a lot of things. You are doing your study permit. You are doing a lot of things for yourself. And you are doing maybe majority of things that you are doing. What you need to do that can help you that when you go for the, for the loan. When you go for the loan. The loan, they will tell you you need to pay. The Empower loan, when you get it, it is not like you giving, you giving the Empower loan, they give it to you. You need to calculate the interest rate. Make sure you understand the Empower loan before you take the loan to come to Canada. Because every month they are going to deduct something from your credit card. And the credit card you need to pay. And if you don't pay it well, if you don't build your credit card, you cannot buy houses in Canada. Or see, if your school is part of the Empower listed, you are eligible for a card. Okay, so people take Empower loans. So you have seen a lot of Ghanaian people coming here. Some people take Empower loan if you want to take the risks. If you think that you don't have money, you don't have any support, nobody will help you to come to Canada. But you have good resource. That is why I've been telling people that prepare to get scholarship. At least when you get part payment, it can help you. And also, two things that can help you to pay your school fees is scholarship and skills. And these skills is you building the intelligence and your handicap. Your hands. How you can use your hands to work. Learn how to baba. Learn how to breathe here. Learn how to drive. You can come here and become... See, do you have private group? Like, no, I don't have any WhatsApp group. Do, if somebody creates WhatsApp group that Peter Bell one name, I don't have any WhatsApp group. If I create WhatsApp group, I will tell everybody to join the WhatsApp group. I don't have any WhatsApp group. I don't have any Telegram group. I don't have some people... I don't subscribe to my page. I'm telling people that a time is coming, people will subscribe to me because a lot of people want to talk to me. A lot of messages in my DM. Also, can empower affect my stay after school? It will never affect your stay in after school. After school, you pay the loan. After school, you pay the loan. So sometimes it is the agreement between you and the empower. Some people are saying within five years I can pay the money. So every month they can deduct five hundred dollars from your money. So you pay the interest whilst you're in school. So when you get the empower empower loan, when you're in school, you pay the interest. I know a friend who pay four hundred dollars every month. 
I know some people who pay. It depends on the money they will give you to you. Some people get forty thousand dollars. Some get thirty thousand dollars. Some get twenty thousand dollars. It is the loan that you want. It is the money that you, you want. So they, they would that they will take your credit card and subtract it every month. They are going to subtract the money from your from your credit card. Very important. Very very important. So before you go and take an power loan, understand the rules and regulations that you can take. Now let me tell people that it's not when you come to Canada now now you get the work. Listen to me. Some people think that the moment you come to Canada, you get work to do. There are certain people in Canada, they are finding work to do. Wow. Because some people don't know how to build resume. Your resume, you don't know. Some people don't know how to build strategic relationship with people. LinkedIn page. I've been telling people that go to LinkedIn and create profile there. LinkedIn page. I've able to connect a lot of people to get work in LinkedIn. I have able to connect network people. People who know me, Peter, me, when, when you go to LinkedIn and you search my name, Peter, but you know the things I've been doing in LinkedIn. It is professional page. You can build recruiters. Some helps will come there. I have me. I've helped people to get scholarship and I've helped people to get financial basis. Those people who know me, I have helped three students to get full sponsorship. Some people tested me in LinkedIn and, and they told me that I can't pay my school fees. I told them that write it, tag my name, I will share it. The moment I shared, people started to pay. I've helped care university student, Legon student in Ghana, university. I mean, there are certain things I don't talk too much about it. Right? Through LinkedIn, those people who connect with me, I will tell you, do this, write it like this, let me ship it. I will tell you, I will, I will share it on my LinkedIn page. I have able to pay more than three student school fees for them on LinkedIn. Some people even got 5,000 Ghana cities through donations and those kind of stuff. Through LinkedIn. I'm telling you, go and create it. It will help you build your profile, build your personality, build your brand, build your face, build your name, build your life. So, this is it. Now, I'm going to take the loan. Make sure you understand the Empower Loan. Certain schools need funding. Now, that is why I'm telling you that before you come to the school, make sure that you have checked the internal funding of the school. Internal funding. How do I mean by internal funding? There are certain schools when you come, after, when you get first class or when, when you, you are able to get good, good grades, they will give you internal funding within the, within the, within the department. So make sure that the school you are applying, when you come here and you study, you can apply to certain scholarships. Some scholarship come with thousand dollars. Some come with two thousand. Some come with three thousand dollars. Be smart and apply to these schools. So when you come here and you're able to build me, when I came here, all my results is A. All the results since I came to Canada, I've not gotten B in my my exams. Why? Because I am strategically building my life. I know how they want. I study. I get my A done. So if any scholarship come or bursaries. They say average of this and this and that. I have a GP of 3.5 above. I have it. CW of above 80. I have it. So I can apply to this certain, certain small, small money that can come to my student account without me, you know, struggling. Somebody saying, is there funding for diploma in New Brunswick? Please, I don't know New Brunswick community. I don't know if they have funding. But there are a lot of internal funding you can apply. Be very smart. Look for opportunities. Now, one of the ways that can help you to secure scholarship for your school is that look for international organization. Don't sit there. Don't put your hand. Don't sit there. Search. Go to website. I've been sharing this on LinkedIn. International scholarships. Go there and apply to some. There are certain scholarships they will not tell you to bring. Uh, they will not tell you that you have second class lower or second class upper or first class. There are certain scholarships they will tell you to write letters. Why? How do you see yourself in the next five years? Write 500 words. Who is a leader? How can you touch the lives of people? Look for international organization. The lot of scholarship people get. It is not about your first class, second class, low world. It is about how you can able to articulate ideas, the perspective, how you can able to bring intelligent things. When intelligent is fueled by action, you become a wise person. So a person can be intelligent and can become intelligent fool. If you're intelligent and you're not using to impact other people like you become intelligent fool a person who is intelligent but you are foolish but the moment you try to share your knowledge and wisdom or knowledge you become what wisdom you become a person who is wise so look for international organization a lot of scholarship available sister brother it takes resilient and determination you need to remain in the canopy of resiliency 
and mean that's be determined this year something has happened to schools offer scholarship for international students those people who really know peter i've been sharing scholarship every week on my page apply to some some people don't want to write your cv is no good you don't want people to ship it so these are certain things you need to know before you come to canada don't come here and play smart it can affect your stay in canada for you to understand all these stuff, you need to know the ways that can help you to what understand the perspective. Because can I do part time twenty work? Please, all the work twenty hours is part time. What what? It's a part time job. Make up to what twenty hours. You need to be strategically build your life as a young person. When you're coming to Canada, be strategic, plan your life, build skills, build network. Some people test me. Peter, apply for a scholarship for me. Some people test me, please apply visa for me. Me, I'm not agent though. Don't send me a message that Peter should apply for. I'm not agent. Go and look for your agent to apply for visa. Nobody should send me a message and say apply for visa. I don't apply for visa. No matter what. Even if my father could and I will not apply. Because when you try to help people and you don't take care, people will put you into trouble. Our own people, that's why black man, when you're helping black man, you need to use your own one hand to help black man and use the left hand to fight the same person you are you are helping people don't love me the things i'm doing for you guys people wish the page has collapsed some people try to block my page they try to report my page to facebook for them to report to, to block this page they sent me message for me to bring my passport and everything and my my, my international this thing id card before they can open this page for me people wanted my page to collapse not everybody who laugh with you loves you we have no people so if you're coming to Canada, please build strategic relationship, build network, learn how to learn. Hey, today, somebody called me and he said he's coming, he, he's looking for something. I called one person and said, Charlie, can you help my friend to get work to do? Now the person I've gotten work to do through network, build strategic relationship with people. If you're coming to Niagara, you're coming to Warland and Choco Melonia is there. Balfour is in New York, uh, North York. I've learned people to help people to get a lot of work in Canada. Sometimes me, I cannot help, but I can call, I can make some certain calls. Tell her, help my sister. Some people reported my page so that this page can collapse. Some people report, I have not, I have not, I have not done anything to you. People wish that this page will collapse. Why? Because I am trying to empower people. Not everybody will love it you. To me, every day I pray to God, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me the spirit of discernment. Give me the the, 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 the the wisdom for me to establish relationship with people. It's not every place I will go. It's not every food I will eat. It's not every call I will pick. I need to build strategic relations because people want downfall. People people wish that you, 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 you are no more. That is why every day I tell people that when you pray, pray for Peter. Remember me in your prayers. Maybe you may not benefit from me, but this video can help your children. It can help your brother. It can help other people for them to what? Build certain things. I am the person who believes in determination. I'm telling you that this page this year is going to empower 10,000 African people. And it is going to be a max. So this is the time for me to tell people that you need to make changes. New Brunswick Community College has sent their destiny to Monday. Get your transcript. Apply to the school. Before you come to Canada, now you want to come. What is bank statement? How, what do I have to learn from bank statement? Learn how to build a bank statement. What are some of the things they can reject my visa? I want to come to Canada next year. I'm coming to apply September. Build strategic relationship with people. People who knows wisdom. Some people come to me and say, review my SOP and review, and say, oh, Peter, do it for me. I, I see I am in Canada doing SOP. Sometimes I've been telling people that when you go to people to help, when you go to people for people to honor them, you say I should spend three hours to spend on your distance because I have studies, I have project work, I have certain things. No, it doesn't work like that. That is why agent will be chopping your money. Because instead of you to do the certain things, you don't want to. I've been telling people that the visa you can apply on yourself. The school you can apply. Learn. See? Learn it. Go to YouTube. Type how to apply to school. They have videos. You can do it. Learn. Everything behind you want people to do it for you. They will chop your money. Agent will chop it. You don't believe in yourself. Me, I spent six months. 
I spent six months to learn how to apply for visa. Six months. That means, that's why I'm telling people that it's not like I'm bragging. I mean, the moment I look at your letter of explanation, I know that this letter of explanation, there's no salt. It doesn't hold water. I didn't need a pen pencil visa. Certain letter of explanation. The moment I put my eye on it, I just track channel that one. Who's no? I do we have a country name. Last time, a lady sent me a letter of explanation for me to see. <laughs> The moment I saw it, I said, this is the letter of explanation you want to send. That is why people are not getting visa. It's because they like the coherent, the ideas and the perspective so that they can able to convince the ideas. We are talking about intelligent intellectualism. You think that the visa officers, they are dumb. You have typed something. Some people English. Yesterday, I was told him. Yesterday, I, I didn't told. And I was coming. And, and when he came, he didn't come. And he didn't came. And yesterday was a, a better day. And then and when I come to Canada, I am coming to stay with my wife. And I'm highly ago. Some people write bad, bad English. You want to come to Canada as a student. Now you cannot write simple sentence. How, how are you going to do research? Once you are waiting for admission, what are some of the things you can do? Learn how to do research. What is problem statement? Learn. Copy, copy is not here. We call it intellectual masturbation. You can't copy here. Learn. Learn how to do research. Learn how to do research. Problem statement. Learn how to articulate idea. Research questions. Learn how to articulate problem statement. Research objective. Significance of study. Limitation. Organization. Learn. Questionnaire. Survey. Learn. Share. Let it be here. You think that getting scholarship is easy tax. If a person goes scholarship to study abroad, that person has gone beyond doubt. Not everybody can be accepted to get scholarship. It takes a person who knows the road. I'm telling you. Some people read bad, bad English and yesterday I didn't told him and I didn't say and I, when, when I came here, a dear visa officer, some people don't even know how to write heading. You don't want to study. When people come to social media platform to teach you, you are so proud. Now nah, I'm first class student. Put that first class student around. Are you the only person with first class? Do you know the people resource? <laughs> Master, me, when you watch me, I will let you humble yourself. You don't know any... You, 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 bro, Master, calm down. Calm down and listen to people. People who know the world to teach you. And he says somebody is there, he's just telling people certain things and he don't know anything. How to write a letter of explanation, you don't know. Do you know the heart of the heart of the application? This application is based on the letter of explanation. Do you know the heart of this application? The visa you want to apply? The heart, the visa nakuma, and any letter of explanation. How do you structure it? It is convincingly. You need to be matured. You need to articulate ideas coherent the introduction link to the body link to the conclusion you just write editing and you just come here and say oh yeah, i'm coming to canada i've gotten that bc that no matter the money you have gotten scholarship your father is by Umiya, your father is Nenaku Fado, your father is sinibu they will reject your visa <laughs> i'm telling you if you're not able to articulate ideas that is what i'm telling you follow choco Melonia. Follow Narabao for TV. Follow Just As Nancy. Follow Akufuado. Uh, Nana uh, Akufuado. Follow Mr. O. Follow Efo Canada. These people are people. I will recommend them for you. Jay Kwashi. Follow them and learn from them. Learn ideas. Humble yourself. Write ideas. Respect people, Anna. Boadie. Bramwase. Mr. First Class. Humble yourself. That's why you're not getting scholarship. You don't know anything. How to write scholarship like that? You don't know. You think you're just saying, I'm video. I know, I know, I know. I'm finished the KMS, I'm finished the Legon. I feel I have my GPA strap and so what? A demission cake, you are not getting. Humble yourself to intelligence. When you meet people, try to obey them. There are certain people when they see me, they say, Oh, this guy, you talk too much. When I was in Ghana, I tried to organize tutorials for people. I tried to organize university students. Go to my social media platform and then see. People don't I mean when I talk, people think that I'm bragging. Go there and verify. Go there and see. When I was a teaching assistant, I used to command 800 university students to teach them. 800. If you are very powerful, when you go to university, go and tell two university students to come to your program if they will come. I was able to gather students, 800 university students. People have given birth, mothers. 
brothers who are even older than me, they come to my to to sit down for me to teach them. People were saying that, oh, Peter, this guy, he talked too much, he talked too much. But they didn't know that I was preparing myself, building my public speaking. You know that when I'm speaking, there's power. I was able to command 800 university students. This mindset, I've been a tricky, tricky, tricky way. This small head. 800 students will come. I will teach them mental investment, bringing the best out of your student. Like people were saying that, oh, Peter, I don't have time. And Peter, you talk too much, you talk too much. Today, I have scholarship to come abroad. Sometimes when you want to go far, don't listen to what people are saying, you know. Hey, me, I am very focused. You can talk bad against me. It is your own cup of tea. Sometimes don't listen to what the negative people are talking about you. It is, the, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it is you having the direction. Know your purpose in life. What you want to reach. Not everybody will love you. Not everybody will love me. I know. People be timing. I'm away. Me, I am aware people will, people will hate me. I know. So I don't care when, when they, they, they hate me. So you are watching me. You can't be favorite to everybody. People will hate you. Understand, you're a human being. Not everybody will love you. If you want to go forward, neglect the negativity. Do what will make you happy. Build your life. I don't care what they do. When I came to Canada, I was elected as graduate representative for my department i contested with canadians who white people they voted for me as black african my class i am the only african student in my class me and me free africa only one person we are 13 we are 13 in class i am the only african in my class it takes grace i've been telling people that you can never go far when the lord because he paid the debt. He did not own. I own the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing <laughs> a brand new song. Amazing grace. I will never boost myself. It is the Lord. God is the lifter of men. Sometimes when you're doing people, when you're doing certain things in life, people will not understand you. It is okay. That is why when you come to this page, the foundation of my page is based on the love of God. Share this video. Let it motivate other people. People can study. People can learn. I love you all. I know this video has, has really empowered you, has really shaped you, has you have learned something that you can also become relevant. You can become significant. Don't give up. Do not give up because of your children. Do not give up because people will demand on you. I am not prophet. Who, I am not prophet. I am not pastor. But the things I am telling you, if you take it, wisdom and knowledge, it carry the power. Because if you lack knowledge, <laughs> you cannot even be a good Christian. Because lack of knowledge, my people perish. I am telling you that Peter Bewa TV will become one of the top around the whole world look and see sometimes don't curse yourself don't box yourself peter you are too serious <laughs> so you are too serious yes i speak like choco melon here sometimes i know you love me even if you don't love me i love you okay what time yeah if you hate me it is your own cup of tea but me i love you <laughs> there's power there's power. There's power. You are the seed and you need to bear fruit for you to become relevant to people. Me, my name is Peter Bewa. I'm just a young guy who have seen the light. I want people to see the light. I know people are passing through a lot. Some people are watching me right now. They don't have anybody to talk to. They are poor. They don't have any money. This page is there to empower the people. It is there to inspire other people. It is there to give them the hope. It is there to give them the, 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 the journey that you can become relevant. You can become significant. Do not give up. Don't listen to what other people are saying. What people will talk about you. Be determined. Be resilient. Be, 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 be determined. Remain in the canopy of resiliency. Remain in the canopy of determination. Remain in the canopy because God is the lifter of men. Do not give up in life. Do not give up. Do not give up. Nations. Me, Peter, you are watching me. I have failed. What's you? Ayek. My first was I failed. People were laughing at me. 
after school. I failed my worthy. I went back to rewrote it. I had A's. I got four years full scholarship to university tech. Somebody pay my school fees from first year to second for fourth, fourth year. My father, my mother, they didn't pay anything. Me, the university I went, somebody pay my school fees. First, level 100, level 200, level 300. They paid my hostel fee. They gave me allowances every month. I was stopping money. When I was in school, I was still a hostel manager. Go to K University and ask. Kubusa. I was the hostel manager. As a student, I was still a hostel manager. I'm telling you that God is the left of man. It doesn't matter where you were born. You can still become relevant. You can still do it. After school, I had scholarship to United States. US, they gave me scholarship. Ball State gave me scholarship. Miami University gave me scholarship. South Carolina gave me scholarship. But I chose to come to Canada because of the legal issues and everything. God is the left of man. You can never remain like this. It is time for you to liberate yourself. People... Until you change your mind, nothing in your life will change. When something around you is not growing up with you, it becomes very difficult. Believe in yourself. Nobody really cares about you. Whether you eat, whether your children will become this. No. Peter, you are watching me. I will fail the exam before. You are watching me. Go and rewrite the exams. It is possible. Go there and rewrite. That business that has collapsed, go there. When I was a student, I was selling coconut. Let me Ponkube, university student. What are you talking about? Sometimes when you want to become great, you need to do certain things people don't understand. Nobody should understand you. Your life is your passion. It is your own thing. I don't care what they are saying. Everybody life, they are, everybody is living his life. Don't compare your life. That's why I me, mean, I don't dress to impress anybody. I'm not here to impress anybody. Hey, you are looking at what people are doing. Hey, then you become late to don't compare yourself to your friends all fingers are not the same some people were born with spoon some people were born with what calabash some people were born in the village some people were born in the rural areas some people were born in what the the cities some people father have money some people mother have died some people father have died some people are orphans some people don't have father some people don't have anybody to talk to some people are passing through a lot some people are passing through relationship trials some people are going through emotional trauma some people don't have money some people are dying some people are no time to empower yourself to incubate your mind with the power that you can become relevant it doesn't matter where you are born peter you are watching me me my tongue my tongue could be i've been selling what cassava those people who know me when i was a child i was crashing on one lady now i love one girl this girl was very nice, very succulent, affable, gosoma. The girl was very nice, very neat. I was crashing on this girl. But because I used to sell cassava, my mother would give me cassava for me to sell. Next to me, contain in the bucket. Cassava, neo, banchi, neo, banchi, neo. People were calling me Bewa Banche. Banchi Bewa. That was my name. So this girl told me that you don't love a guy who sell cassava you don't love a girl a guy who sell plantain you don't like a guy who sell kerosene those people who know me i used to sell kerosene i'm telling you this not because i want people to know my so i'm telling those people that you can also do it it doesn't matter where you're coming from don't allow people to put you in the box don't be coward you move him remove yourself tell yourself that i can become great I want to become great. Tell yourself, bless yourself. It is time. And this time, we have given time some time, and this is the time for you to tell time that we cannot waste time again. Yen to me, we still time again. This year, something must happen. Share this video and let it inspire other people. My name is Peter Bewa. I know you love me. Bye bye. Share this video. Greetings. Bye. <laughs>